this morning and it's opening day for one of the summer's most anticipated Hollywood movies. You've probably heard about Oppenheimer, the story of the first atomic bomb. But did you know about its connection to Washington State? I spoke to a UW professor about how the Evergreen State played an outsized role in the Manhattan Project. World. Well, remember this day. One of the big blockbuster movies of the year portrays the life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, a man some consider the most important person who ever lived because of his work to create atomic weapons. But it may not have happened without a secret site in eastern Washington named the Hanford site. The use of nuclear weapons put Washington at the center of the war's final days, to be sure. Bruce Hevley, historian at the University of Washington, points out the critical connection Hanford had on the world. The connection is without the work of um, Hanford, uh, Oppenheimer's Los Alamos laboratory would have had very little to do. When the U.S. government created Hanford in 1943 at the height of World War II, 50,000 people moved near the Washington-Oregon border to support this top secret mission to develop plutonium. The influx quickly made the area north of Richland the state's fourth largest city, and most of the workers had no idea what they were building the world's first full-scale nuclear reactor needed for a bomb. Hanford was the number one uh, priority for labor during World War II in 47 states. Uh, the only exception was Tennessee, where there was another nuclear production facility. The site itself was developed by Army General Leslie Groves, played by Matt Damon in the movie. Groves graduated from Queen Anne High School and briefly attended the UW. Are we saying there's a chance that when we push that button, we destroy the world? Chances are near zero. Near zero. Then July 16, 1945, the dawn of the nuclear age began with the flash of a man-made sun rising over the test site in the New Mexico desert. Days later, the atomic bombs were dropped on Japan. One of them carried plutonium created at the Hanford site. That infamous event cemented Oppenheimer's controversial legacy. In 1954, he was scheduled as a guest lecturer at the University of Washington, but the university president vetoed the idea, partly due to Oppenheimer's apparent ties to communism and leftist causes prior to the war. Oppenheimer had gone from being politically very naive in the middle 30s to being politically pretty engaged. Uh, at the beginning of the war. Today, as the nation flocks to see the movie, environmental cleanup continues at the Hanford site near Richland where it all began and where you'll only find whispers of the dark past that fueled the bomb. At Hanford today, you can still take a tour of the B reactor, which is where the plutonium was developed. Now, the dropping of the atomic bombs on Japan obviously was one scenario to end the right. war, but this is interesting talking to Heavily. He points out, think about what might have been too. If the decision was made to put a blockade against Japan, the Bremerton Navy shipyard would have been involved in Kitsap County. If an aerial attack was an option, McCord uh, Navy uh, Air Force Base in Pierce County would have been involved. So the Northwest really had an outsized role. Huge impacts for sure if yeah. you went any of those routes. Wow. Exactly, yeah. Oh gosh, incredible local connections too. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm excited to see the movie with all of this in mind. Yeah. Absolutely.